How's it going guys? Welcome back to Stormworks. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to build a basic submarine in Stormworks. The first submarine uh, that you'll build if you don't know how to build them already. So um, it's not going to have any really complex stuff so all the beginners out there should uh, be able to build this uh, quite easily and this will give you the basic principles and knowledge so that you can go and build a really complex submarine um, whenever you want so yeah let's get into it okay so once again we are in the beginner island gonna go in the workbench and the first thing we're building uh, when we make a submarine at least I like to build is the ballast tank uh, or tanks depending on what your submarine looks like I'm going to be using like a lightish grey uh, for this and I'm just going to draw out say that long that will be the basic length of our submarine and we'll give it some just a little bit of slope nothing crazy um, just to make it look a tiny bit nicer going to put on our mirror mode here I forgot to do that and we'll draw it out that wide but we'll bring it out with some inverse pyramids and some uh, wedges so it's about that wide the wider your submarine the less it's gonna rock uh, which goes for boats as well so it's good to have that and then we're just gonna cut away these and do that same on this side So essentially what you've got here is like a smaller boat uh, that's less boat like I guess and we're going to be using the merge tool here now if you don't know how to use this um, it, you go up here and hit selection grid and it allows you to select an area of your creation uh, you can resize the grid over here just drag it out and that and then you can uh, do a whole bunch of stuff with this so let's do a copy and I'm going to use the regular um, block rotation tools just to rotate it around and bring it to the back so it's exactly the same at the front and on the back and now this will paste it uh, as a different entity so when you spawn in this right now this end bit will fall off it's technically a different vehicle so just come in your merge tool which is right next to it uh, click that and then click your creation and then it's all going to be one and it's not going to break uh, which is what we want so I'm just going to build this up a little bit here just so we have more room and more ballast so it can sink a little bit okay and we'll uh, carry on with that once we've got the basic pumps and stuff so we're obviously going to want to pump water into the ballast which is going to uh, make the submarine heavier which will allow it to sink down in the water uh, so by doing that we're going to just go get some ports fluid port or fluid slot port it doesn't matter um, just depends how big your submarine and which one you prefer the looks of I guess but we're just going to break a hole and another hole in the submarine you can do it in the sides in the front in the back it doesn't really matter but we're going to make sure that the uh, actual circle is facing inwards so that's where our pipe's going to be and the grill's nice and flush and uh, there's no holes in the tank so this is going to be where the fluid is coming in so let's give it like a nice blue color now the way pressure works in Stormworks is the water wants to come in on the submarine and it wants to flood your submarine all the time basically. So you're going to require less force to pump stuff in to the submarine than to pump stuff out. So we're just going to use a regular fluid pump because we're not going to be using, we're not going to be needing a lot of force to get all this in obviously the more pumps you have the quicker it's gonna go and yeah it's gonna just fill up faster but 
For this one I'm going to use one, and if you're playing in survival, costs uh, as well. And we're going to put a port on the end of that. So what's going to happen, it's going to take water from the ocean, it's going to go through the pump when we turn it on, and it's going to slowly fill up our ballast tank, uh, which is what we want. Now if we want to rise up again, uh, we're going to have, obviously need a system for that, so in red, I'm going to place down another port, and for this, when we're pushing stuff out of a submarine, the pressure is going to be a lot greater, especially when you're at deeper um, levels uh, down. So, we're going to use a large fluid pump here, just because it has more power. And uh, you can use multiple of them, it doesn't matter, uh, depending on how deep your submarine wants to go. But we're just going to pipe that up simply with some corners. And uh, yeah, that's going to go straight out of there. I'll colour those. Uh, that'll make it easier to see. So yeah. Now we're going to put in a meter, a fluid meter. This is going to measure how much water is in it, in the ballast tank, and uh, the capacity of the ballast tank, which is useful for some dials um, when we get up the top. Okay, so basically what I've done now is just use the merge tool again to copy paste the bottom half just straight onto the top again. And so now our entire ballast tank is nice and closed in with no holes, uh, which is good. That's what we want. And I'm now going to start building the upper section of the submarine. We're doing a nice yellow because all submarines have to be yellow and we'll just build it out like this using the slopes again uh, and we'll just map it out how we want it so it's going to be kind of cool it's not going to be a crazy good looking submarine it's just going to be something that uh, works basically so we'll do some cool little, actually we'll wait there, we'll do like a cool little thing here, and we'll just keep this going up, because now we can put some windows in, right, let's do it in a nice dark grey, should work well, and uh, let's get a bigger window. Like that. Okay, so now we're actually going to be able to see out of our submarine, which is cool. We want that. And let's just build this up again. Okay, so, now that we have somewhat of a, I'll put 
section looking decent. We're going to work on the interior now. I haven't built this very high, so you're probably going to have to crawl through this uh, in the end. However, oh, well, that's not a problem really. Uh, so we'll just wall this off, maybe uh, add a ladder or something so you can get up on the top because that's where we're going to be having our hatch to get in and so we'll just use basic hatch for this and I'll go into more detail uh, on hatches and decoration uh, in one of my other videos so you can check that out if you like but there you go, there's a basic little hatch and I've just put a two-sided toggle button there and so we can just simply wire that straight up and maybe call this hatch and so now when we come in there's also a button uh, on the top and we'll put some extra ladders in just so we can actually get out when we need to so now we're going to add, uh, let's get a seat in here, we're going to need some uh, way of controlling the uh, submarine and we'll just tidy up this interior slightly, there we go, Ooh, let's do a nice little curvy thing like that block that off so, so we have some room for some stuff in the back and that's cool so now we're gonna need a few things uh, in terms of displays and buttons in the uh, cockpit here the first thing is we need a way to dive and resurface um, so I'm just going to use the additive paint tool to just change the color of this. So this can be uh, uh, empty ballast and then fill ballast right there. And so we can now sh straight wire them to the separate pumps. So the empty ballast is going to be our large pump. Uh, if you can remember is the red and is more powerful for pumping out and then the fuel ballast is the blue um, smaller pump for filling in pretty simple right there and now we're going to add some simple dials uh, for the the fluid meter or maybe a gauge actually, let's use a gauge because this has two different um, needles on it the white and the red and so what we can have on secondary is the capacity and on level we can have the primary uh, so the red needle will be your uh, capacity or is it the level? I can't remember. But um, one of them is going to be right at the top, uh, saying how much ballast you have, and then the other one's going to uh, vary based on how filled up your ballast is. Now we can come in here, and right now it's one and zero. Now the fluid meter isn't going to be outputting values between one and zero. It's going to be more like values between maybe a thousand depends on the size of your ballast tank because it's going to be measuring in liters of water instead of a percentage uh, converted into a decimal so let's go like five thousand it's really a guessing game you can actually spawn this in fill up the ballast see what it says and then change it but we'll just do zero to five thousand uh, liters this can be and then we'll do liters right there pretty simple and then uh, we're gonna have 
dial for depth. Right there. And it can be meters because we're not going to be doing any conversion. And so the we're going to be going, let's say, a hundred meters down. I would say would be the max before you start uh, dying because you can't get up because the pumps aren't powerful enough. So yeah, I'm going to leave it at that. And then we're going to get an altimeter right here. Uh, and we're going to, it doesn't matter where you place this or which direction you place it in. So we'll just go at the back here and just place it in. And this will give a simple value of just where you are, minus being below sea level, positive being above it. Uh, which is useful for planes and stuff. So yep, there's that. And then that's really all you need for a submarine in terms of dials and controls. We're going to be adding controls to the pilot seat and stuff uh, in a minute. Uh, but yeah. Okay, so now we're going to be adding all the features that are going to make our submarine drive and dive and all that good stuff now we can add engines to our submarine and if you're in basic mode then you don't have to worry about air and exhaust pressure and stuff like that so you can just simply put an engine and power your stuff like normal however in advanced mode uh, it's going to be a lot complicated uh, to do that so we're simply going to use a battery system just because batteries can work anywhere and electric motors and stuff so it is going to run out of charge um, at some point but we're not too worried about that right now because uh, I guess you can call it a short range submarine so it will be going too far and you can always add a generator um, if you want a tutorial on how to add an engine to your submarine uh, I'll be happy to do that as well so I've just put two batteries down low in the ballast just to keep it nice and stable and to make the submarine a little bit heavier uh, a more central uh, lower center of mass and we're simply going to go in our electric tab and just wire them straight up together so they're both uh, connected and then I'm going to add two small electric motors uh, just to the back here and I'll add them right there. Be careful when placing motors because they don't actually um, count as a full block. So if you place them and there's a, they're making a hole in your uh, ballast tank for example there is going to be problems however the battery is covering them up at the back so no water is going to be able to get in and you can use any kind of propulsion you want but we'll just stick with the small propellers for now uh, which is cool and we'll just build them up a little bit just to make it look a tiny bit nicer brilliant like that and now we're going to need some steering. This is all stuff that you can do on your boats. Uh, it's pretty simple. We'll just cut away two areas here. And try to match the arrows up because if you mirror them, your rudders are going to be going in two different directions. And you won't be able to turn properly, which is not what you want. So still leaving no gaps in the ballast here. And now that's going to allow us to drive and stuff, but it's not going to allow us to dive under the water, which is what we want to do. So I'm going to add another rudder, this time horizontal. And so what this will do is it will direct, deflect the water and it will force the nose under or above the water. And get that on both sides. 
and the just the force of the propellers will uh, push us under the water basically which is great okay so now that we have that all sorted uh, and our thing can drive our submarine uh, we're gonna actually need to wire this up now before I do that uh, I just want to say there's no air uh, management inside and survival and stuff uh, at least in this patch of Stormworks so you don't have to worry about that uh, but we're simply going to wire up our seat here to the different uh, numbers on our rudders and that so AD like in a boat maybe will be your rudder control like that uh, and control click to just uh, select uh, add multiple uh, connections if you didn't know that and then WS will be our dive planes as they're called so that will go to our horizontal rudders and then up down to uh, the motors and basically what the seat is doing when you press the key uh, on your keyboard uh, it will just gradually increase to 1 or to minus 1 in the opposite direction uh, which is fine with what we're doing here if you wanted to make it automated throttle you can uh, add a lever or a button or something uh, but yeah now now that I just think of it we can add another dial for our battery charge that's going to be important so actually know how much we have left now the battery outputs a number between 0 and 1 uh, based on the charge so we don't actually have to uh, worry about that and either battery uh, can connect to this it doesn't matter they both sync down at the same time so it's not going we're not going to have to add anything uh, which is cool and then we're going to battery all this up now you could go some people will just go straight to all the uh, things like that you can do that or you can just uh, do what I did and just connect them into each other I don't know I just think it's more neat uh, but it's down to you in the end like that and the hatch obviously cool so now everything's battery together and this should work by itself however it's gonna be very buoyant because it's basically a boat right now even with the ballast full it's not really gonna sink much so I'm going to take a large chunk out of here and replace it with weight blocks now a fun fact weight blocks have a dot in the middle so you can distinguish them uh, with other blocks However, that dot is actually the same colour as the grey shade over here that we use for the ballast. So if you don't want that grey dot in your creations, just use that uh, colour right there. But I'm going to make it a slightly lighter shade so we can, when we're actually testing it, we can actually see which is a weight block and which is a regular block in case we forget. So now our centre of mass is uh, lower oh, which is cool and we can actually swarm this in and test it see how low it sits in the water but as you can see it's very buoyant and it's sinking towards the back which is not what we want we want it to be slightly nose heavy so we're just going to add some more weight in the front that. Hopefully that will work or it will completely sink. Okay, the back needs to be a, a bit heavier now.
Okay, so through a process of trial and error, I've got our submarine to sit at a reasonable level in the water. So now we can come inside. It's in our seat right here. And now the ballast, when we hit the fill, should start rising. There we are. Our depth should be variation. Yep. And our battery. And so, if we hit the arrow keys, there we go. Our propellers are going. And hopefully. Yeah, and we can also turn with our rudders, just like on a boat. So we're actually pretty uh, swift in the water here, just on the motors. So now we're going to fill our ballast up a little bit more. So we start sinking. It's going to gradually fill up. Obviously I need to change the... Uh, levels on that because it's gone to 17,000 instead of 5 which I anticipated so I could change that afterwards which I might as you can see we are getting gradually lower in the water and we're actually going a free can and see that our tank is slowly filling now obviously I need to tweak the weight a bit more because we're sinking very nose heavy let's pull it right there so right now we're sort of neutrally buoyant in this level, slowly sinking. So you can obviously do some more logic and stuff to make this uh, more efficient. Making submarines requires a lot of trial and error, as you may have noticed. And we're a bit too deep, so empty ballast and it will slowly drain. A lot slower than it will fill, uh, just remember that because of pressure and stuff which I mentioned and if we use W and S we can control our dive planes I think we're stuck on the ground here but let's see if we can there we go, we we'll do a little reverse in one second, let's make it there again so we actually see And basically by using W and S and, and stuff, I can actually control Oh, the ballast is getting a little bit too empty here so Yeah, we can force ourselves under the water I think we need more power <laughs> in the propeller There we go, almost there we are. And there is a fully working, mind you, not superbly well, <laughs> uh, submarine in Stormworks that you guys can build and adapt to make it your own. Add lights, add interior, add all sorts, and you should be good to go uh, on uh, making your submarine. So, yeah. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you want to catch up on any uh, stuff that I've uh, included in this video, like uh, decor or certain blocks, I do have uh, other tutorials on the channel if you want to take a look at those. Uh, otherwise, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, consider subscribing if you want more stuff like this. Uh, if you want more complicated tutorials, I can try my best. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so... Thank you guys for watching again and uh, see you next time.